Hi everyone, so I'm here with Steve Marchand and what did you think of the night? Just your basic well, for, impression. Yeah, two levels. On the debate itself, uh, Andrew, you know, not a big surprise. Whenever he gets to speak, he packs more content uh, and clarity into a one minute answer than any of the other candidates. And it's always been a challenge in this process. You know, can you get enough time to compete with some of the folks that start off with the big name idea in this process? I like that he asserted himself a few times in ways that exceeded um, the level of assertiveness I've ever seen before in the debates. I think he knows he needs to do that. Uh, and I think he keeps getting better in each debate. He gave some great answers and he really focused on economic inequality, which I think is one of the main things we're hearing about. Uh, among undecided voters and uh, and then we're excited to use this as well as the 100 Club dinner tomorrow night the big New Hampshire dinner tomorrow night we got about 13 town hall meetings and a few other events and we're gonna push right through the finish line and uh, and I feel really good that we can finish high in this uh, primary and use it in a way that allows us to go on and um, and have momentum in the process okay so months ago Andrew basically said that it was Mr. Nice Guy until the voting started and then the gloves came off. And what we've been kind of waiting for Andrew to do, which he hasn't done really in any debate is, you know, not necessarily attack, but go on, be a very assertive with the other candidates, you know, call, I mean, this is exaggeration, but call Bernie old or, you know, Biden too old to take command or, you know, something. Yeah. And we saw, you know, Trump take down multiple people by saying, you know, this guy's too sleepy, this right. guy's too whatever he he's not going to be able to do it i the question i guess is why do you think andrew is not taking some of that tactic at this point I, I, there are a couple factors and i've gotten to know andrew pretty well over the last year plus uh, he's a positive person by nature he's a collaborative person by nature and the way that translates to this race in my opinion is he is uniquely more than any candidate i've seen in a long time for president he's running for things and explicitly not against things. So while a lot of the candidates up there spend a lot of time talking about how they're not Donald Trump and what's wrong with Donald Trump, there's a lot of things wrong with Donald Trump. But Andrew knows that the way we're gonna win in November, uh, the way we're gonna succeed in 2021 in office is by being four things. And I think what you heard there is this very aspirational, positive message. Um, and you, you try to make the contrast, some of us on the team trying to help make the contrast in social media, through the press and so forth. Uh, but he is running, he's a different kind of candidate, different kind of guy. I think it's part of his appeal. A lot of people in this room, Full House, appreciate that he's running four things and we know exactly what he wants to get done. Um, I think the debate format does not necessarily reward that. It rewards yeah, confrontation. If I name you, you get 30 seconds to respond to my exactly. criticism, and then you name me in return, and then I get 30 more seconds. That's really at the heart, and um, I think it's, it says more about the problem with the format than it does a problem with Andrew in this case. Okay, well thank you very much for your time, and let's have a great night uh, tonight, and then tomorrow, I guess you're going canvassing, and so that's exciting. It's, a, it's gonna be a great weekend. The weather might not be perfect, but we got a lot of folks going out there from New Hampshire and around the country in the Yang Gang. We appreciate all of you that are helping out, and uh, it's a volatile race with more than half the electorate undecided with four days to go. 10 points will decide second through eighth place, and we think we can finish right at the top of that. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye, Yang Gang. See you at the next event. Okay.